multi-cloud is one of those things which um, it's a kind of a buzzword. Everyone talks sure. about it, but getting that really done is, is a real challenge. Amazon has their own constructs. So does uh, Azure, so does VMware, so does KVM, mm -hmm. and all the other environments have different constructs. So when you come in, you say, you know what? I want to stop this guy from talking to this guy. Sure. Sounds easy on paper, right? But the reality is that you have to find the right construct that work with the right set of tags or other in Azure and maybe IP address on KVM. Okay. And it seems like a lot of that's being really driven by the needs of the developer. Companies want to go pretty fast nowadays, but people mm. indirectly as well. And we're driving developers to go faster. The problem is that how do you apply policy, for example, in an environment that changes like 100 times a day? Yep. What happens if a new microservice comes up? Mm. And you know what? If I'm a developer today, access to memory inter-process mm. communication is unrestricted. So network should be the same, right? Got it. So what happens if we don't adapt the security model for the needs of those developers? Take a credit card, go to Amazon, open an account, start launching services. Sure. So up to there, doesn't seem like a big problem. Yep. But they start moving data in the cloud. Yep. And so now I'm going to have customer data hosted in the cloud with an environment which I don't really control policy or access mm -hmm. or anything. So what does that mean? Is a developer very conscious about security and he'll be very careful? Yep. Or is he more like, not my problem, someone else would take care of that? Mm. So it's going to introduce risk. Exactly. In essence. Got it. And so when we think about capabilities or technologies that can bring to bear to help support this, I think Cisco Tetration has a pretty key role to play in that. I know that that's certainly your area of expertise, right? That's absolutely right. Yeah. It's probably one of those areas where we've invested lots of time and energy um, yep. in that area because based on our internal feedback, Cisco IT went through that, mm -hmm. we felt the pain, uh, uh, we actually built that yep. based on a real life use case. Got it. And after we started expanding because we want to get the whitelist policy model, we want to get the zero trust. Yep. So if I understand correctly, Tetration forms a key part of our cloud workload protection strategy. So the cloud workload protection is again a very big envelope. Yeah. It covers a lot yeah. of things. Um, first thing, block lateral movement. So right. use segmentation. Very segment much like the zero trust conversation exactly. just happened, right? Yep. And that's zero trust is literally the base, and okay. you should always start there. Got it. Now the problem is that as you go up the layers, uh, now you've blocked lateral movement. Great. Right. Now, how do I understand my security posture? Yep. How do I harden my servers? How do I take action on things like, you know what, this CV is running in my environment for the last 20 years, but mm. I mean, it's okay so far. How can I mm. take an action? How can I maybe use the policy to restrict access right. to some environments? And then as we move forward, you've, secure, you've segmented, you've hardened, now you have to detect Things, things will go wrong at some point. I mean, right. it's a matter of time. Okay. And the point is, how do we detect? How do we make a difference between mm. 500 million data records lost yep. and 500 data records lost? And that's the whole story uh, which has to work okay. on-prem, in the cloud, across containers, across multiple hypervisors uh, yep. in one environment. Mm.